control list is terrible, and I'm so happy to share this with you today. Here's Joe List coming back at a troll. Let's see if I could even read this here. Um, what did the guy say to him? Do we I don't know? know. We don't know. Said. We're just showing Joe List's response. Should I should just start reading it here. Guess so. It's not about being awake or being asleep. It's about her dad being a sheep troll. She goes to bed. Oh, I know what's happening here. This guy made fun of Joe List. Joe List clicked on his profile. Yes. Saw that the guy was a father. Okay. And now he's going to pull the, wow, you're a father and you're trolling people. And again, I think the guy just went airplane, airplane. So this is what he's going to do. And he's going to do his creative way of telling a dad that he should be raising his kid instead of trolling a comedian online. They hate this. Here you go. It's not about her being awake or asleep. It's about her dad being a sheep troll. A sheep troll. <laughs> she goes to bed and you go to Instagram to comment on a successful comedian's Instagram page because you were told to by a stranger. Wait. He's talking about me. I can't believe he's saying this. He just this. called himself a success successful Guys, hold on a second here. Looking oh. like Lana drinking that. Whoa! She's having a. She's on some antibiotics, I see. <laughs> yeah. Where the guy is. Um, all right, hold on. We got a drink. This is going to be good. This is like worse than I remember now. That Let's have a drink back. to this, guys. To Joe List, my new target this year. Listen, I like picking a small target here and there to see what they do. And wait till you see this guy's perfect. He reacts just like you'd want a guy to react. You know, uh, my brother would always ask when he was a kid, why do you pick on me, brother? Brother, why do you pick on me? And I go, because you get mad. I learned this at the age of three. When someone gets mad, you go, <laughs> and you want to do it more. If somebody didn't care, you would go, eh. This airplane stuff, Rule it's no big deal. Rule number one of life, basically. Rule number one of life. Joe List is getting so mad. Wait till you see this, guys. To Joe List. This is going to be very nice. Cheers. Joey! <laughs> All right, hold on. This is going to be good. Your daughter goes to bed, and you go on Instagram to comment on a successful comedian's page because you were told to by a stranger. It's embarrassing. I genuinely think you could do better. This is strange behavior for an adult, particularly particularly one with a wife and child. I'll be blocking you after this comment because I have to move forward with life without you in it. <laughs> but you seriously should think about why you feel the need to listen to a stranger who tells you to fuck with people more successful than him and you. Whoa. Is that even true? Show your tax returns so list. So he's talking about me. Yeah, show your tax return. Let's see who's more successful. These guys, they really <laughs> don't know who they're playing with here. Um, uh, let's see. We're, uh, Sorry, it's a big uh, wall of text, yeah, it's, so it's, it's hard really to find like, your place. Um, you should seriously think about why you feel the need to listen to a stranger who tells you to fuck with people more successful than him and you. It's a little odd, right? This kid's dad is an internet troll. That's silly. Trolling is for teenagers and nothing better to do. That's what he says. Trolling is for teenagers and nothing better to do. You've created a good life for yourself. Enjoy it. Why spend time trying to bother people you don't know? Because you were told to? That's silly. Take up meditation. Congrats on the weight loss. Doing something similar with your mental... Do is he drunk I'm, while he wrote this? I'm just reading how he writes it. Doing something similar with your mental health. And make your account private if you're... And then I think we have more. Make your account private. Uh, make your account private if you're going to post tons of pictures of your kid. It's just safer. There's no benefit to having your account public with that many photos of your kid. I'm not trying to win an argument. I'm trying to help. I believe in you. Wow, that's fucking. <laughs> that's no. fucking sick. Oh, really, dude? Can you believe <laughs> this guy's that? way crazier than we? This even is crazy, and this gets even worse here today. 
So this guy, is this guy writing back or is this just another person? Should I read this uh, one? That's the guy replying, but. Oh, it's the same guy? Oh, troll. No, yeah, yeah. Should I read it, it or, sure. or no? Yeah, yeah, there's more. Uh, Joe Liz, trolls are a way of life. I don't need you to tell me how to have a good life. I just want uh, you to be the best you you could be. Writing a multiple paragraph reply to a simple troll reeks of defensiveness and lack of self-awareness. Thank you for the time, though. And then you can go to the next one. Then someone says something, something. Airplanes. Okay. And then Joe Liz says, nah, it got through to you. You're thinking about it and will continue to. That's why you felt the need to tell me she was sleeping. His daughter. I don't know what the sleeping part. Uh, and that's why you're responding now. You're aware that you're a sheep troll. And you just feel a little stupid about it. And then he keeps going. I know we're having fun here, but in all seriousness, if you're going to be a troll and also post pictures of your family, you really should make your account private. That's trolling 101. There's no benefit to giving that many people access. If you're going to try to troll whoever you're told to troll, think about it. And I don't have to read his Now, response, we're right? just uh, making a simple airplane joke, and Joe goes That's straight it. to attacking people's families now, and children. Now, again, what this guy, and this is what he should do. He should go, yeah, there were a lot of airplane jokes. and That's it. You shouldn't really be getting this down and dirty. Where do I go next here? Okay, Joel. so that was the comment, and then shortly after, he appeared yeah, pull it on up to the a top. podcast. Yes, he appeared on a podcast with a black guy that I really love. Adorable. This black guy is good. Okay, this is Joe List answers some airplane questions on a black podcast. We, of course, judge people by the color of their skin and their creed <laughs> here at Red Bar. And this guy's black. This guy's great. Wait till you see it. I don't know who he is. To me, this is Isaac Simpson. He's great, and he's got like a missing piece of his brain that allows this black guy to be like really funny. You'll see what I mean. And it was a live show, and I saw this in the Bring Back group when this happened. I love this. If any one of our fools goes live, somebody post about it in the Bring Back group and get in that chat, okay? They hate that. So here he is on the We Got Answers show. Love it. And I think Joe was thrown off. You're going to see. Are you ready to see the list himself? I can't wait. God, he's got the worst haircut and the worst head. Do you know he's really tall? He's like Slender Man. But he's got a tiny little body and tiny little frame. But he's very tall. Unless Mark Norman's very short. I saw them together. He was here. Do you want to show that like image? a towering? Yeah, can you get that here, for me? We and this is the black I'm talking about. Who's amazing? He's sitting at the Seinfeld uh, restaurant there. Here, click the one that I dragged up. Okay, look at this. Joe List goes to a museum. <laughs> this was so bad. They made this little video. You know, Mark Norman's. Oh, I make videos. Whoa! And Joe List is like, Yeah, can I be in them? And they made this together. Hi, I'm Joe List. Yeah. Mark Norman here. Wow. Can you even tell the voices apart? So look at this. Is Mark Norman 5'3 or is Joe List 6'2? Which could it be? I didn't know Joe List was that tall. Look at him. He's towering over him. He's a foot taller. I really don't like him, I gotta say. We hate <laughs> Joe List now. And you're gonna love this. He looks like Omar. Oh, the black guy. Watch this little video. This uh, We'll watch this first. This is uh, Comedians in Museums with Mark Norman and Joe List. Guys, just because you film something doesn't mean it needs to be posted. You know, But they're successful comedians. No, People are uh, dying to see this. Comedians think if they filmed it, it's good enough to be posted. Not realizing that eh, maybe when you get back to the editing room and you watch it over, it's not that good. What do I know? Everybody loved this. This has many more likes than my Joe Rogan drunk driving video. So let's see. Comedians in museums with Mark Norman and Joe List. Let's see if this Joe List is any good. And we're here at Fordham University. We're going to take a spin around the museum with our curator, Jennifer. Yeah, she's Watch good. This. Very lovely. That's the kind of guy you got a fist bump. So welcome to the Fordham Museum. So they're at a museum. Norman Art. Oh, I trust uh -huh. you. Sure, that's when you're right. And again, they came up with the concept. They were probably going to do stand-up in some city that allows it, 
you know, because they need their fix. Look how tall and skinny, weird, slender Joe List is with his style. Comfortable. He's wearing a waist trainer. <laughs> Look at this guy, man. And uh, this is like something a very tall, thin, bald, gay black guy would wear if he lived in New York and ran an art gallery. Uh, and so you could tell these two guys go, hey, we're going to be in uh, wherever, Baltimore. We should go to the uh, some museum and film a video. And, okay, great. And then they went and they actually weren't really in the mood or they got nervous or they weren't that funny. But they filmed it and Put it up anyway. They're not going to waste that footage. They're not going to waste the footage. Hey, listen, everybody in the comments thinks this is brilliant, but let's so, see what we think. The horses. Here. Uh -huh. Right. Yes. Exactly. Is that what Etruscan means? Uh-huh. Wow. You know, like an Etruscan. Mm-hmm. That's equestrian. Mm -hmm. Ah, don't question me. Mm -hmm. All right. Why don't we start over in the corner here? I'd like to put Joe List in a corner. Look at him. Look at that man's body. This is the Harpo Marx trophy. Yeah. Look at his I'm shirt. Like Susan Boyle. Yeah. Yeah. Both work. Yeah, maybe one, one of the nose is bleeding. Yeah, we got Susan Boyle with a coke mm -hmm. habit. Yeah. That's like actually Medusa. Okay, so far, 53 seconds, nothing's happened. It's mumbling. I can't hear any of this. Did you hear any jokes? Anything good? No. Oh, what is this? Oh, an old pot. Oh, yeah, Joe got anything? No. Neither do I. Okay, next. Guys, throw the footage away. She was supposedly so ugly that when men looked at her, they turned to stone. Oh, well, wouldn't that be a good thing? Yeah. <laughs> now, what do they keep in these usually? <laughs> usually, these are these were just basically funerary, so nothing ah. was kept in. Look at Joe List. I'm, I'm sure this guy's like seven feet tall. Look he got the tall him. coffee, too. He, yeah, he's got the <laughs> tall... Well, it's not a tall. What do they call it? Um, venti. It's a venti. He's got the X. Look how long <laughs> that coffee cup is for this long string bean gumbo. And what kind of shirt is it? Where do you get this shirt? Can get some glasses shirt? or something, Look at too? these Janes. Look how the Janes hit the chaise. Wow. I'm sick of all these people with old-timey glasses. Yeah. Isn't your prescription? It's time to update it. So Look just get a new frame. Look at this guy. We must pick on Joe List. He sucks, right? <laughs>